And just on count back there, Sinclair, Mason. Chris to seven of those finishes, John, Game were on. 32, double 16. So the answer or the aim for Shelton must surely be not to let this bloke get down in a double because 59. when he gets there, he's been lethal. He has, hasn't he? And uh, all credit to him. Shelton's hit the big scores, three 180s. Yet to see one from Mason. But uh, Mason's hit three doubles, Shelton only two. Mason still that vital uh, break ahead. I know I keep repeating it. It was the very first leg of the match, and all legs since then have gone with throw. So uh, Mason with that uh, very distinct, uh, maybe indistinct, but important advantage. Roland Shelton has won a major 2004 Easy, Open champion. And I mean, in, over the last 10 years, I can't recall Shelton ever dropping too far out of the top 10 in the world, John. So considering his consistency, as we watched Mason look for his first 180, considering Shelton's consistency, really he should have won more majors. Oh, absolutely. He, he, I think he'd be the first to admit that he's probably underachieved. Uh, and particularly when you see him plow in the 180s for fun. Uh, he really is so prolific. That's his fourth tonight. His 90th here at Blackpool since he first appeared back in 2000. He, he was a first round loser in 2000 to Rod Harrington. 11 9 the result. But um, it's a different ball game now. There are more and more quality players uh, in the PDC ranks, and uh, all of these players, like Shelton, like Mason, know that they've got to perform on a regular consistent basis 134 terrific darts Royal from Chris Mason left himself double top but 20 now for tops square the match 58 require 40 Yeah, lovely markers, those. You fancy that. You do fancy that. He knows. It's the first time he's missed doubles in this game, but they didn't prove costly, and I would even suggest it proved helpful. Well, it's the third leg he's stolen with uh, Shelton having darts and a double, and, and that's rapidly 59. becoming the story of this match. And if it goes on that way, Ronald Shelton's in trouble. Look at um, those... 180s there from Shelton. Well, what's remarkable about that is that uh, all four have been in losing legs. The four legs that Mason's won have been when Shelton's hit a 180. So Mason will be quietly hoping he does it again. <laughs> I don't seriously believe that, but uh, it's a remarkable statistic, isn't it, Dave? Just going the wrong way with the second dart. Down the board instead of across. Still this uh, tremendous opening night crowd here uh, to the Winter Gardens. This really is now part of the great summer fiesta in Britain's premier seaside resort during the summer. 37. Well, tickets now are uh, sold out, and uh, I can tell you that I'm, I'm getting people requesting tickets from me, and I just have to say politely, sorry, no chance. Um, 100. It, do you remember the days when we were... In the early days, when we we had to wait until semi-final night before we got crowds like this. Now, right from the start, 2,000 plus, and when we actually come to semi-finals and final, uh, every single seat in the place and added seats. Well, uh, looking around the arena outside our commentary box, Dave, that's how it 16. is now. Anyway, there isn't a place left. But of course, you at home can have the best seat in the house watching Sky Sports you'll get a fly's eye view 43 of the action and you can listen to Sid Waddell as well <laughs> 140. Yes, so 140 from Mason puts him well in uh, control of this leg because uh, Shelton unable to check out a 163, uh, whatever. So 65. 60 it is for a 5 2 lead. And uh, 
surely 5-2 and with throw coming up next two breaks in his favour that's brilliant from Mason on his way surely now and never write any player off of the calibre of uh, Roland Shulton but uh, they don't have many mountains in Holland to learn how to climb uh, Dave and that's what he's got now Mason's finishing once again has been eye-catching I can remember in a tournament uh, he went right the way to the end of about 15 legs, averaging above 80%, as you recall. So he has that ability, and if Roland Shulton, despite 60. his 180 hitting, continues to allow him a chance at a double, this man, Mason, is going to give him big, big problems. Said before, 100. Mason looks so much better when he's out front than when he's chasing. It's confidence, you can see it's stature it well, grows in confidence we haven't seen a head shake yet have we and uh, that's the difference if it was 5-2 the other way um, some not always but uh, often Mason falls apart but uh, he looks well in control of this one well they're the highest checker it's not much between them fact is though, <laughs> that uh, Chris Mason's doing them all regularly one unlike the others be at least in a winning leg <laughs> if it is and we could have a reply here from Mason in kind unlucky if it is then it will be against the throw Rolling and it will put short at least on the road to being back in contention well, that was a cruel deflection from 65. Chris Mason's third dart on the last visit but it just leaves him outside a checkout and uh, Shulton really shouldn't lose this leg from this position. Well, we've said that before. 78. 78. Rolling well, three trebles, but 78, all different trebles. So, top cities for Shulton. At last he hits a double. At last he wins a leg with a 180, and it 